Hi all, so welcome to this uh, topic, the temperature program desorption to determine surface acidity. Let us uh, see, uh, there are some other temperature programmed techniques also. So any temperature program technique in which a linear rise in temperature is done and the outcome is measured can be called as temperature program techniques. There are various temperature program techniques like temperature program reduction in which a metal oxide may be reduced to its metallic state or there may be temperature program oxidation, there can be temperature program reaction, another concept is temperature program reaction spectroscopy and the last one is temperature program desorption. So in this one, we will study in detail the temperature program desorption. Let us have a quick look into the theory. Generally, the experiment is conducted at a linear heating rate. A linear heating rate means we will be starting from maybe an ambient temperature and the temperature may be rising up to 300 or 500 degrees Celsius. So you will be following a heating rate like 5 degrees Celsius per minute or it may be 10 degrees Celsius per minute. That is T of T is equal to T0 plus beta T where beta is the heating rate and T0 is the temperature. Now upon differentiation you can get beta is equal to dT by dt. The rate of desorption can be given as minus d theta by dt is equal to kd theta raised to m. The minus sign is because since it is a desorption there is a decrease in the number of adsorbed molecules. Kd is the rate, uh, rate constant for the desorption. Theta is the surface coverage and m is the order of desorption. So you will be getting upon proper substitution minus d theta by dt is equal to Kd by beta theta raised to m. And adsorption is an activated process that obeys the Arrhenius equation. You know we are very familiar with the Arrhenius equation which is K is equal to a into e to the power of minus Ea by Rt, the general Arrhenius equation. Here A is the pre-exponential factor and Ed is the activation energy for this option and R is the ideal gas constant. Again on proper substitution between the above two equations we will get a very useful equation which is called as the Polanyi wigner equation which is the basis of the temperature program this option. If you closely analyze the equation, you can see that you can determine the activation energy for desorption, which is a very important parameter in catalysis and adsorption materials. So the technique of temperature program desorption gives information regarding the number of active adsorption sites, the nature of the adsorption sites, energetics of adsorption and the kinetics of adsorption. Let us see the experimental setup. As you can see there is a helium tank. It may be helium or any other uh, inert gas and the inert gas will be following through a gas chromatograph type of apparatus. So in this method we are studying about the dynamic TPD. So now you can see there is an ammonia injector there and there is a sample holder. And after the sample holder, there is a column and detector and then a chart recorder. So initially, the sample is kept in the sample holder and there will be a preheating. The preheating will be used or it will be useful to remove any adsorbed moisture or any adsorbed organic materials. Now, after the, after the preheating, the sample will be cooled to an ambient temperature and ammonia will be injected. So the amount of ammonia should be more than to saturate the sample. So once the ammonia is injected, the ammonia passes through the sample, the sample will adsorb ammonia and all the physically adsorbed ammonia will be slowly passed into the column and after the column there is a detector, you will be getting a signal there in the chart recorder. So you will be waiting for some time for all the physically adsorbed ammonia to be removed from the system. 
once everything is removed from the system the baseline will return to uh, the peak will uh, the sorry the signal will return to the baseline and uh, it is ready for the temperature programmed desorption technique so the next step is you will increase the temperature of the sample there is a heating jacket there and once you increase the temperature of the heating jacket the sample gets heated up and still the carrier gas is flowing through it and once the sample gets heated up the chemisorbed ammonia starts evolving from it and once it evolves it goes through the column detector and again you will be getting a signal so you are here you are applying a linear heating ray so that as the temperature increases the ammonia evolution from the sample also increases so that is the experimental setup now let us see what were, what is an analysis of a tpd result here you can see that uh, there is actually the red curve is a single curve and the, there are two maxima for that red curve which can be you know, given as tp1 and tp2 which denotes as the peak temperature 1 and peak temperature 2 now the area under the graph will give you the amount of um, acid sites okay so the theory is once you inject the ammonia the ammonia gets absorbed on the acidic sites and once the physisorption physisorbed ammonia is evolved out and once you increase the temperature slowly the chemisorbed ammonia will be coming out so whenever a chemisorbed ammonia molecule comes out it will immediately give you a response in your detector so the area under the curve will give you <coughs> sorry the total acidic sites now you, you can do some deconvolution techniques for the uh, peaks so that you can separate it into two a1 and a2 so you can see now there are two types of um, acid sites one is the a1 and another one is a2 the area under the graph a1 will give you the corresponding number of acid sites whereas a2 a2 area under the curve a2 will give you the corresponding acid sites from the temperature you can see that the tp1 peak will be giving you the number of acid sites which are having a lower acid strength whereas the a curve with tp2 which is which is occurring at a higher temperature will give you a the number of uh, acid sites which are having a higher acidity so the from the a simple analysis you can see that there are two types of acid sites in this particular sample and also the acid site which is having lower acidity is more whereas the acid site which is having higher acidity is less and there are some other analysis also which you can go through the note and you will see that in the note we have uh, I have specified that you can determine the uh, desorption uh, activation energy from which you can come into some other conclusions for the time being that much information is only required so let us see the conclusions and uh, uh, this ammonia kpd cannot distinguish the bronsted acid sites and lewis acid sites as you may be knowing any solid acid will be having both type of acid sites bronsted and lewis but the ammonia kpd cannot determine or distinguish between the bronsted and lewis sites and uh, this method can be modified by using other base molecules such as pyridine and to determine the basicity of a catalyst we may use carbon dioxide which is an acid type of molecule as the adsorbent in the same experimental setup so that you can determine the uh, basicity of the catalyst also so uh, have a nice time see you in the next video thank you